We are only a few weeks away from the start of school. And as officials and districts work to finalize their plans, President Trump is already pushing for them to reopen. So for perspective inside the classroom, 13 on your side, Shannon Grove spoke with a local public school teacher. Start date is August 24. Blake Missouri has been in grade school for almost three decades. We get right into Thomas Jefferson as a teacher. It's my hook to get them into the challenges and the richness of what our what a history can be. And that is done in person. He's a history buff at Granville Middle. All teachers, we do our best work with our students in person. That's the nature of our craft. No school year has ever started like this. Will you be returning to your classroom? I plan on it right now. If school was starting today, you're asking a very difficult question. <laughs> The CDC's new guidance pushes in-person classes. I think it's really important to get our schools open. Recommendations include wearing face coverings, changing layouts. So it's so important now to work together with school districts to figure out how they can take our guidelines and operationalize them in a practical way. Our buildings are not designed for six feet apart. It's up to the districts to provide everything from PPE to cleaning supplies while facing millions of dollars in budget cuts. The bids were coming in somewhere in the range of half a million dollars just for plexiglass dividers. We have schools opening across the country uh, within weeks and we still are waiting to hear from the federal government, will there be assistance to help our schools. The CDC cites evidence kids are less likely to get severely sick from COVID-19. It's not public health versus opening the schools for the economy. It's public health versus public health. It says the social, emotional, and academic costs of keeping schools closed are significant. I do have some concerns as an individual because of a loved one that I uh, uh, live with who has health issues and I have to take that into consideration. Missouri typically has 150 students shuffling through his classroom a day, 150 ways to catch COVID-19. Teachers feel as if we become um, expendable, that teachers feel that our students' uh, health, our staff health is, is secondary to the political expediency of improving the economy. But he says state officials and administrators have been working for months to prepare and provide the best education in the safest way possible. I want to assure our community members and our parents, their child, their children are our number one priority. And the latest coronavirus relief bill from the White House and Senate Republicans includes more than $100 billion for schools, $70 billion of which would go to K-12, with more money going to schools that reopen. Meredith.